So the Lord has provided a way for this nation. I said all of that about the TV producer thing because I want to, I want to, I'm led by God to say this. I watched the election get stolen. I watched the election get stolen. I watch the election get stolen. I'm watching this, this administration, this government, bamboozle the people and lie to the people. And a lot of you have fell for it. Don't you see Biden has dementia? He's mashugana, as the Jewish people would say. He's mashugana. He don't know if he's coming or going. But they wanted him there because they feared Brother Trump. Why? Because Brother Trump was placed by God in office. Right. I know he's tough. I know sometimes he cuts. I know he got rough edges. God knows that too. Did not God use Paul, who was, like he said, the least of the apostles? Paul talked about how he used to go to and drag people back to Jerusalem and put them in jail and kill some of them? Moses, he even killed a he, uh, an Egyptian for striking a Hebrew. See, David had blood on his hands. God will use you to wage war. And you got to. No one that God put in position is straight-laced and passive. Yes. Sure. Wonderful. Of course you can. Go right ahead. No. No. When God set you on the front line, you go against the grain. And you always are told by God to remember when I bless you to do this. This is what's going to happen. Go tell them I said. And when you tell them I said, <laughs> thank you, Lord. When you tell them I said, tell them what's going to happen if they don't do what I said. The reason I just said thank you, Lord, because God just reminded me. Every time you see Brother Trump do a rally, he talks about, we did this. We did that. I did this. My administration did that. Why? Because when he was running against crooked Hillary, he said in 2016, when I become president, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. This, 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 and this. Then when he ran against Biden, when they, when they ran, when the election got stolen, he was telling the, the nation right on TV, if Biden get in office, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. He's going to do this. The news people, the, the, the journalists were cutting him off. People didn't want him to say anything because he was blowing the whistle. He was telling the nation, watch out. Your utilities are going to go high. The rent is going to go high. The gas is going to go high. We got it good right now. But people said, he's a racist. He doesn't like black people. He's a white supremacist, which is a lie because his daughter's married to a Jewish man and Trump got it, what, a Jewish grandchild? So he can't be no white supremacist. And on top of that, if you're a multi-billionaire and you can't afford to be racist because you mess up your own money. Uh, let me say it so some of y'all could understand it. You mess up your own bag. So he can't be a racist. But you can tell who the racists are, the ones that tell you, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Or the ones that go after the African American votes because they, you know, they, they, they say and do things to appeal to you. In the Biden White House, there is no uh, one accordance with him and Kamala. Do the research. See, a lot of it, and God said it, right there in Isaiah, let me go back to Isaiah chapter 5 again, God said it, and 
I'm going to read it right in the living of the King James. He said in verse 13, Therefore my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge. No knowledge. People suffering now, they want Biden out of office because the economy is jacked up. But you asked for him. You cheered for him. You wanted him. Deal with it. Oh, it's going to change. Because God is going to put Trump back in office. God, as the title is, God has his hand on President Donald J. Trump. He got his hand on him. That's why nobody can't mess with him. That's why every, every time they tried to take it to court, it didn't work. That's why every time they brought up a charge, it fell through. Even what they got with that man had and that DA brag, man, that's going to fall through because God got his hand on him. Come on, come on, people. You got to be wiser than that. Look at let's, let's look at this for a minute. If everybody is against one man, why? George Soros, who's a billionaire, putting up all this money, paid that attorney, that D district attorney, it was said in the news he they, he cut a check for a, a million dollars for him. And what does that do? Bragg said, I'm going to get Trump. So he's standing there with a look on his face like, I'm going to get Trump. But when he talked, he sounded like a little. So, yeah, you know, we got a blah, 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 blah. I'm like, man, you perpetrator. You, how you going to look all tough, but then when you talk, you talk like a little, you know. A wimp, to be to say it nicely. That's how we talk, with no clue. Oh, not not. I'm gonna say something because I am of color, so I can say this. A brother that's in position and that's sitting there with a bone going, yeah, I'm in position. I'm the DA of Manhattan. I can do things, but yet it's still all that crime going on in New York. The criminals that he done let out of jail. But he's messing with her glory. He's messing with the one that God put in office. And guess what? It's going to backfire. One of the ways it's going to backfire is because the second part of this broadcast, the reason the Lord led me to read First Timothy, it's because this ministry is going to pray for Brother Trump. He needs it. God got his hand on him. God is with him. If, if you look at how the country was two years ago, I'll say, versus how it is now, which one was better? And if you don't say two years ago, then you weren't paying attention, or either you're blind, or maybe you maybe you was wanting to go to the weed dispensary, getting all high up or something. The next thing the government gonna legalize is crack. I'm surprised they didn't legalize fentanyl yet. See, the, the administration is crooked. They're saying that we want to protect the children. But then they say, but a child can choose their own gender. You see what's going on? You ain't even paying attention to what's going on. When I was a kid, at the gym in school, we used to go take showers. We would bring our, those. some of us couldn't afford gym bags, so we would bring our pillowcase with the soap in it and the clean underwear, the clean socks or clean clothes to change into after playing gym and all of that. You go take a you can't do it now. You can't do it now. Because in a lot of the schools, the kids, the guys, they done broke their wrists. And some of the girls done tried to, you know, try to be all masculine. Listen, man, this country needs to return to God. But the Lord loves you, so does this ministry. Let's pray for Brother Trump. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you asking you to forgive us for all of our sins and our shortcomings and our faults and our wrongs. We ask that you wash us white as snow. We're going to 
We're going to agree with your word, Father. And we're going to pray for the president of these United States. Those of us in ministry, we are obligated to you. So we do what you have commanded us to do. We pray for Brother Trump, Brother President Donald John Trump. And we pray for his family. We ask you to bless his wife because she's standing by him. Oh, glory in all that he's going through. All that you're bringing him through. Because you're bringing him through it. It hasn't consumed him. The devil has not consumed him because, Father, you have protected him and his, his wife. See, she's beautiful on the outside, yes, but on the inside, she has good character. She's still standing with him no matter what that stormy that prostitute said or that porn star, no matter what the world say, no matter what these other women who were trying to land a husband because he's a multi-billionaire, no matter what they have said about him, the woman that has his last name is still standing with him. Glory to God. His sons, Eric and Donald Jr., them brothers are in order. They're not on the forefront fighting each other. Mm -mm. But when you see Don Jr. doing what you bless him to do, and you see Eric doing what you bless him to do, praise God. And you bless his daughter to back up a little bit and just be with her husband. She's married to a Jewish brother, so she's still connected to you. <laughs> so his household is in order. It's in order. And Baron, Baron is protected and growing and watching his father and the brother is, is tall and big and he's going to grow with great stature and strength learning from his father the man is blessed by you to have his household in order we that walk with you those of us in ministry that, just like how you revealed to Daniel the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had, just like Daniel used wisdom, Daniel praised you because he said you set up kings and you take down kings. So the same way we that walk with you understand that truth, we know that you're with Brother President Donald J. Trump. We know you're with him. And we know that it's a season to pray for him. You bless him to go through and to make it through and to dodge all of these bullets. So right now he might need a little bit more prayer. You the one that said pray. Do this broadcast. I'm going to use you to do a broadcast praying for Donald Trump. You said that to me a couple of weeks ago. And you blessed me to start the series last week. But the last couple of days you said going to use you to do that prayer. So when I saw him going to court in New York, I said, well, Lord, does that mean I, 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 I wasn't on point? And I heard you say, no, it's not that. Just, just watch. I, I'm going to give you the cue, but pay attention. And you blessed me to pay attention. And then yesterday you said, okay, today's the day. The brother needs prayer. Today is April 18th, 2023, that's the date. He needs prayer. His family need to be backed up in prayer. And as well as you got us praying for him, we need to pray against the Biden administration. I plead the blood of Jesus against that crooked, godless administration. I know that you're going to show your hand in that too. Your hand is on Donald Trump, but against 
lying Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that know that you use Donald Trump to go against the grain, to expose the swamp, as he said it. He's been exposing, and that's why he's under fire like he is, because he's been blowing the whistle. He's been pointing out everything, the players, the liars, the schemers, the canaries. He's been doing all of that, and they they, they, they trying to break him, but they can't break him. Why? Because you got more angels around him. <laughs> than demons that are against them. Our glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish I could talk to him on the phone and, and pray with him personally and encourage him and tell him, Brother President, keep doing your thing because God is with you. Maybe you're blessed to watch this broadcast. I don't know. But I, I have to do what you told me to do. Like the way you told Moses go tell Pharaoh, I said, let my people go. You said, pray for brother, President Donald J. Trump. And I'm doing it. Because you said it. I've been watching him. You've been showing me. The man is, is anointed. Whatever needs to be Straightened out in his life. Straighten that out, Lord. Uh, his language. Stop him from cursing. You know, I'm just going to say this. Thank you for correcting me. I'm just going to say this. Whatever you need to straighten out in him, straighten it out. But I'm asking you to let his heart still remain with you. Because in his heart, he loves you. In his heart, he fears you. In his heart, he respects you. When he was sitting in the White House seat, when he was sitting in the White House seat and the CDC closed down the place of worship, I remember he said, if you don't open it, I will. That's what he said. If you don't open it, I will. I'll override you and open it. Because he said people should be able to serve God. Mm. He stood up for you. And I thank you for blessing him to do that. They tried to make fun of him when he held that Bible up in front of that ministry. They can't make fun of him. He, he knew what he was doing. Those of us that understand warfare, we knew what he was doing. It wasn't about that building. It was about him saying that in the word is where I put my trust. Good move, Brother Trump. We just thank you, Lord. He didn't go outside there because it, it wasn't a Holy Ghost filled ministry. Symbolism. He knew what he was doing. You was even using him to do that. You're with him. And I thank you for that. Bless his grandchildren. Just bless his whole household. Bless the work of his hands. Bless every step he take. Bless the secret servicemen that are around him. Let the loyal ones be around him. Let not anyone else be around him that's going to try to bamboozle him and deceive him and trick him like they did the first time. I pray not for Pence because Pence shouldn't have stood on the opposing side. He shouldn't have. But it was said about him in Indiana that he was very influ uh, uh, easily influenced anyway. So he's not a leader. He's not one to stand there and go against the grain. He'll go with the grain and then try to throw your name on it. Mm -mm. No. No. Pick the vice president to walk with Brother Trump. The one you would have for him. 
whether it be one of the strong sisters that's around him, not a sister that want to be vice president just so she know that the next in line is her. Nah, not a, not a woman like that. But a woman that's going to work with the brother, that's going to respect his wife, that's going to respect his household, respect his position, respect his anointing, but most of all, that's going to respect his God. I thank you that you taught me so much through the political education you've given me thus far. For many years we were told that the Democrats were for the poor and that the Republicans was for the rich, but now I know I've learned something different. The Republicans are for the people. The Democrats are for themselves. I see that now. I thank you for my relative, L.W., who you used him to share that with me a few years ago. When he said it, I was shocked because that's not what I was taught or told. But as I watched, as I prayed, as you revealed to me, I saw that he was right. And then after doing an independent study, I found out the Republican Party all believed in the Bible. It was based on the Bible. It was put together based on Scripture. Based on the Word of God being your book and your truth. And the Democratic Party is not based on anything godly at all. That's what it says in the research. That's what it says in the research. That's what it says. Their democracy. Aren't they? But it shows in the research that they don't follow scripture. That they're not based on scripture. So I ask, even as with my other brothers and sisters, and you remove everything Democrat out of that seat and put it back the way you had it. For the sake of the country, Lord, for the sake of America, for the sake of the United States, enough gas in this country so that we could use our own stuff the Lord please release that again stop the, the being on the take that everybody is on there's nothing wrong with a quid pro quo even you even you institute a quid pro quo if a person follow you then they'll be blessed if they go against you then they won't. Show your mighty right hand, oh God. Please. Show your mighty right hand. Give Brother Trump wisdom, your wisdom, like you did Daniel. And bless the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that's around him. Because whenever, ah, glory, whenever you send somebody, you always have somebody with them that they can depend on, that they can open up to and vent to and talk to. Bless Elon Musk as well. Now, I saw the interview where he was asked, if it is true that Jesus Christ saves, do you want to be saved? He said, yes, if it is true. So he left that door open huh, for you to come on in there. Minister to Eli. Freeze the AI thing. Freeze that. And work on his soul. 
show him your glory. <laughs> show him your glory. Let Eli stand before you. You blessed him to do a good work by taking over Twitter and shaping it up. Now I'm asking you to bring down the big tech. See, we need to depend on you because you could do that and can't nobody retaliate against you. Bring down the big tech. Bring down Google. Bring down fake book. Close it up. Because through that, people have infiltrated the ministry and mocking you. Come on, Lord. It's time for you to show that you and you alone are God. You're El Shaddai, the strongest, strong one. There's none like you. None like you. In no nation, no land. Have thy own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Move in a mighty way, Father. Please. And remember our prayers, our personal prayers, those of us that are working for you. Bless our prayers because we need you. Bless those that sow into the ministry, those that use the cash app link, bless them. We replenish what they share. It's not that I look good, but when they share in your ministry, as you know, your ministry gets stuff, and your ministry puts stuff to use, even to help others. Bless the Alpha and Omega Prophetic Street and Outreach Ministry to continue feeding the hungry on Sundays. Bless your prophetess to be humble and stay under your mighty right hand. That phone call that, as I just heard the phone ring, please don't let it be no bad news. Because I know the enemy has been hitting the head during this service. He don't like it at all. So, thank you for everything. Thank you. Keep us have a blessed day and a blessed night. And let us see you move in the life of Brother Trump. These cases that they might try to throw at him, these hearings he got to go to, come on, Lord, show your glory. Mm. Show your glory. Show your glory. Let the enemy be embarrassed in front of the nation. And yet, you get the glory by how you move. There's no better chess player than you. <laughs> no one can capture your king or put your king in checkmate because you are the king. Can't nobody do nothing with you. And as long as we Stay close to you. Then we'll be all right. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me to do this broadcast. Please bless me to edit it in an anointed way. And remember, please, please, rain your favor down on your servant, the one that you 
was sent to the White House oh God, I hear you, to stand for what you have promoted. The brother stands for male and female as being the correct and only gender that you put together. When he became, when he sat in the White House in 2016, when he got in the White House, right away he signed some executive orders and one of them was if you're a woman you use a woman bathroom, if you're a man you use a man's bathroom. Right now I read in the news where CVS is now making their employees follow this trans thing and to deal with whatever gender a person want to be, CVS employees, they got to accept that and promote it and let a person use whatever bathroom they want to. Lord, chase that demon back in the closet, that demon of homosexuality and lesbianism. Send that demon back into the closet because that demon does not work nor does that demon glorify and that demon is attacking children and everything I ask in Jesus name that you put an end to all this foolishness and lift up your own standards that you should get the glory and the thanks and the praise please again that brother stands for what you said what they say. They was mad when he got out of Air Force One and got in Trump Force One. <laughs> when he was able to go back to the Mar-a-Lago and set up his office and everything and reconstruct it. They was mad because he was able to do that. But you said, behold, I've given you an earthly kingdom that no one could take away. When you anoint a person in position, can nobody take them down? When you close a door, can nobody open it? When you open the door, can nobody close it? And again, I thank you that you used him mightily and that you're going to use him again. And when you bless him to get back in office, I know he's going to give you the glory. I know he's going to thank you. And as he do, Reward him for it. Reward, brother. 